Gills in Fish by kscience.com. This here is a fish, and this is the mouth of the fish. These are the gas exchange sites of the fish, and we call them gills. This is the outline of the gills. And these here are the gills. So these here are real gills, and we're going to look at the adaptations of these gills in this video. So this is one gill, and one gill is made up of many gill filaments. So these here are the gill filaments. The gill filaments are arranged like this, in this image here, whereby they're stacked on top of each other to increase the surface area. The gill filaments are covered in these structures here. These are called lamellae, a plate where you find many blood capillaries. So these are the lamellae. So these are the lamellae. So water enters the fish through its mouth. So as we can see here, water enters the fish through its mouth. And there is oxygen dissolved in the water. This water with oxygen dissolved in it flows over the gills, as you can see here. So the water with the oxygen dissolved in it flows over the gills, the gill filaments and the lamellae. And this is where gas exchange happens. So oxygen is then transferred into the blood capillaries through the lamellae, which are on the gill filaments. So oxygen is then transferred into the blood capillaries through the lamellae, which are on the gill filaments. And carbon dioxide is transferred out of the lamellae and the gill filaments into the water. The water that will leave the fish will have a lower concentration of oxygen than what it came in with. So the water that leaves the fish has a higher concentration of carbon dioxide dissolved in it. Because carbon dioxide is a byproduct of respiration. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So this here is a three-dimensional gill. As you can see here, the gill is made up of many gill filaments, which are stacked on top of each other. These are all gill filaments where the arrow is pointing to. And each of these gill filaments acts to increase the surface area to volume ratio of the gills. This will therefore increase the rate of diffusion of oxygen into the blood and it will increase the rate of diffusion of carbon dioxide out of the blood and into the water. This is a side on view of the gill, and you can see here the gill filaments. So the gill filaments act to increase the surface area to volume ratio, which will therefore increase the rate of diffusion. Because as you can see here, there are more diffusion points for oxygen to diffuse into the blood and carbon dioxide to diffuse out of the blood. So the gill filaments increase diffusion points for increased rates of diffusion of gases into and out of the water. This is a view from above the gill. So these are the lamellae. These are the lamellae of the gill filaments. And the arrow is pointing to the lamellae on the other diagram. So the lamellae have lots of blood capillaries, which increases the rate of diffusion of gases. So the lamellae have lots of blood capillaries which increases the rate of diffusion of gases. Because the more capillaries there are, the more surface area there will be for oxygen to diffuse into the capillaries from the water, and a higher surface area for carbon dioxide to diffuse out of the lamellae, out of the blood capillaries into the water. These are the arteries of the gills. These are the arteries of the gills which supply the gills with blood and take blood away from the gills. So remember, the lamellae have an increased surface area, which will therefore increase the rate of diffusion of gases. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.